Perhaps the most important thing to raising a successful corn crop is getting the planting depth just right. It's really key because you're going to get your root system set up perfectly. You're going to have an even emergence. I mean, all those things that we talk about for corn all year long are all set up the day you plant your corn. All right, let's start with this. The ideal corn planting depth is one and a half to two and a half inches. I would like to go at exactly two inches, but we know we can't do that. So inch and a half to two and a half, that's our range. Why is that our range? <laughs> okay, well, first of all, on the deep side, if you start getting deeper than two and a half inches with your corn, it's pretty cool when corn is being planted in the United States. We're out there fairly early in the spring, some a little earlier than others, and when you've got stuff that's going to sit there for a while in the ground, you've got seed that's going to be out there for a few weeks in the ground maybe, you, you don't want it too deep. For one, the soil is colder down deeper, but secondly, you just leave that big window where you could get a crust on top of the soil surface and that corn can't get out. It can't emerge evenly with the other seeds in the field. So you want to plant it a little bit more shallow than two and a well, half inches. Well, even if it does get out of the ground, it takes so much energy to get pushed out of the ground. That's energy that could have gone into yield instead of pushing out of the ground. So we want to have a maximum of two and a half inches deep. Let's talk about the minimum of one and a half inches. And I don't care what your soil conditions are. Hot, cold, wet, dry, doesn't matter. We want inch and a half to two and a half inch planting depth regardless. Well, here's the thing. With corn plants, I don't care if you're in Mississippi or in North Dakota. Uh, they're all the same. They're all going to have five rings of nodal roots. Now, what nodal roots are is they're the root systems that go between the soil surface and where you plant your seed. There's going to be five rows of these roots. That's a lot of roots that you've got to get in a small area. So we say an inch and a half is your minimum depth because those five rings of nodal roots will take anywhere from three quarters of an inch to maybe even an inch uh, to all form on that, on that seedling. But starting with the seed, the very first thing coming out of the seed going up is the mesocotyl. And the mesocotyl will be three quarters of an inch, maybe even an inch long. That's going to help push that shoot out of the ground. So you've got mesocotyl for about three quarters of an inch. You've got nodal roots for about three quarters of an inch. You need a minimum of an inch and a half planting depth or you are going to have roots above the ground and that's a disaster. Yep, and these nodal roots, these are the main roots of that corn plant. So these are the things that are going to bring in most all of the water, most all of the nutrients. We want these things to do great. If they don't do great, we're not going to have top yield. Well, we also won't have good stability for our plant. And we definitely don't want those roots above ground because when they're above ground, they'll harden off. You'll end up with problems. You won't absorb as, many, as much water and nutrients it is a major issue. So make sure you've got that corn planted at least an inch and a half deep, but two and a half inches on the maximum side. The other problem with planting your corn too shallow is that now those roots are popping out above ground. Not only can they not take in water and nutrients, but they can take in herbicides that you may be putting on, and you can have some crop injury that way. Now with corn, that seed always stays where you planted it. So if you planted it at an inch deep, uh, you can dig it up later on in the year. It's still going to be at an inch deep. Yeah. What do you do? How can you fix a situation well, like that? Yeah, before we talk about how to fix it, I think it's kind of interesting because you said the seed always stays where you put it. I mean, literally, I can go out in the middle of the wintertime or the following spring even if you haven't tilled that residue up, and I can find where that seed was planted the year before. So it's pretty easy when you do go out to investigate a field, you see why the guy's having yield problems or stand problems or whatever, and you can see right where that planting depth is. Anyway, in terms of how to fix that problem, let's say that you planted your first 40 acres and you realize, oh no, I made a mistake, I only got my, got my corn planted an inch deep. You can wait till that corn comes up a little bit, and then you can go out and do some cultivating. I know you're going to have to pull the cultivator out of the trees, but you could go out and do some cultivating and just hill up a little dirt over that row. Uh, that will, in effect, make that planting depth a little bit deeper. It'll help protect your roots. It'll help uh, your nodal roots. It'll help reduce chemical injury. All those things are great. Uh, y you know, we don't want you to do that. We'd rather have you just do it right in the first place but it is a little bit of a rescue treatment. And the other thing is if you're, if you're in that situation where you have some shallow planting, just tell your, your crop protection supplier, say, look, I've got a problem. I've got some spots out in my field where my depth wasn't very good. Uh, is there a safer herbicide I can choose? Or is yep. there a better spray timing that I can go out there at? 
Uh, so I'm not as likely to injure those roots. You've got to do what you can because we're talking about your crop, your profitability on your farm. Uh, this is a really big deal, so we've got to do it right. One of the last things I've got, and I know this is really basic, but you got to get off the tractor, get back, dig around a little bit, and make sure that that planting depth actually is an inch and a half to two and a half inches deep. I know it's easy to just keep driving, keep planting. Your monitor's telling you that things are going right, but you know what the monitor doesn't tell you is exactly what the right planting depth is. Maybe you need to invent that someday, Derek. Well, we just need auto steer, so when you jump out of the tractor, that tractor can go make a round, <laughs> come back, pick you up. That'd be perfect. Someday, be perfect. someday. <laughs> well, the other thing you have to watch, too, is as you change soil types out in a field or yep. as you go field to field, conditions are different. You're going to have to make some adjustments. You can't just count on that machine doing the work for you. Yeah, we see that a lot on our farm when we switch from strip till or no till to conventional till, or you have sandy ground versus really heavy clay ground. It does make a difference, so make sure you're checking all the time. Well, one other thing you'll be looking for when you get out of that tractor is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed?